Joining us live right now is a 2007 World Cup winner in Robin Utapa. Robin, thanks so much for speaking to India today. We know that the pitch in Delhi, it's going to be helping the batters. We've seen a game already being played there. It saw records uh, being set by the South African team. What I would want to know from you is, whichever team wins the toss, what's the best thing to do on a track like we expect to get in Delhi? Well, I think that Delhi wicket is an amazing wicket. I think uh, uh, the curator and the ground staff should be given a lot of credit for the kind of wicket uh, we, we we actually got to witness in that South Africa versus Sri Lanka game. Um, so, given the fact that the wickets played so beautifully, I suggest I think I would I would reckon batting second would be the way to go um, because uh, I feel like. Uh, in a game like this, you the wickets continues to stay good. Uh, the, the interesting thing was the wicket had a lot of bounce uh, in it. You know, generally in Delhi, we at least in the the last ten years, what we've gotten to experience is that the wicket skids on a little bit, keeps low. There's not a lot of bounce. But in that game uh, where South Africa played Sri Lanka, there was a lot of bounce as well, and there was purchase of pick up shots. So I feel like uh, it's a good wicket to bat on. Um, so you would want to goal first and try and get Afghanistan all out as quickly as possible and then chase the score down. Okay, that's very interesting uh, analysis from Robin where he says there's going to be that extra bounce on offer. Yes, it's a good batting track in Delhi, but that extra bounce is also something that the batsmen need to be wary of. And that then again gives slight advantage to India considering the pace bowling attack that India would go on with. Siraj can get that extra bounce as well as uh, Jaspreet Bumrah. So plenty for the Afghanistan batters to be thinking about. But on that subject, because there will be that extra bounce and also Robin, uh, we know that the the ground in Delhi has shorter boundaries. What worked for India in Chennai was playing three spinners. Of course, the conditions were conducive to that. Here you've said maybe extra bounce is going to be that thing, shorter boundaries. Should India then think of playing three spinners here as well? Or as we've heard from the team management, no, it's going to be condition-based. So then Shardul comes in for that spinner. And if that happens, who sits out? Well, interesting that, right? I think uh, I think Shardul may come in, and if he does come in, I think he come in in place of uh, Ashwin. Uh, that is that is my inkling, um, uh, and and why not? Because Kuldeep and Jadeja have bowled exceptionally well. Uh, Kuldeep is, I think, uh, your trump card as far as spinners are concerned. Uh, he will keep it quite irrespective of uh, you know where uh, he's playing in India. Um, with the with the kind of way he's bowling right now, he's our number one spinner, and Jadu. After after the last game, there's no way you're going to drop someone like Jadu. So Ashwin will have to make way for Shardul. Mm, okay, as Robin says, there are good chance that India, looking at the conditions, bring in Shardul Thakur. And then, as he just explained, it'll have to be R. Ashwin that will have to make way uh, for Shardul Thakur to come into this game.